Hey, what's going on? My name is Harrison, and this is going to be a UE4 C++ tutorial on the rotate angle axis function. Let's go ahead and play and see the final product. We're pushing play, and we have this cube pretty much just moving around in a circle, just uh, moving around in the circle of the origin. Um, again, there should always be a GitHub link down in the description below, so if you want to grab the code and move on, you definitely can. But if not, let's go ahead and recreate this in, in C++. I'm going to delete it from the game world. Right click, new C++ class, actor. Um, I'll just call it a rotating actor and click create class. Okay, so the engine just created the files for us. Let me get rid of my test files. Um, the first thing we want to do is in the header file, we're going to add two vectors and two floats. Again, we'll be able to edit these in the editor, so it'll be easy to change if, if needed. U property to make sure that Unreal is aware of it. Edit anywhere. We can go ahead and put it in the same categories. Um, category movement. Make a float. Call it angle axis. Uh, do a new another U property. Edit anywhere. Category. Category equals movement. We'll do another float and call it multiplier. Uh, two more U properties, and they're going to be vectors. Edit anywhere. Category movement. This F vector, uh, let's spell it right, F vector, let's call it dimensions. Dimensions. Do it one more time, hit it anywhere. Category with movement. Let me fix my typo up above. Category. Category, there we go. Um, so what's the last one? It's an F vector. Now let's call it axis vector, F vector, axis vector. Save it. Now let's go on, uh, move along into our .cpp file. We want to create some default values for the variables that we just made. Uh, dimensions. Dimensions. We're going to set that to F vector 300, uh, 300, 0, 0. Uh, Zero, zero. Um, axis vector. It's going to be another F vector, and we're going to set that to one or zero, zero, one. Zero, ah, zero, one. And the multiplier. Multiplier. We're going to set equal to 50. <clears throat> Okay, now let's jump down into our tick function. This tick function will run every frame, thus uh, changing our actor's position every frame. So the first thing we want to do is just let's set a new location. We're doing this by hand just to, just for this tutorial, but you might want to make it you know edible in the actor um, as well, like the other variables we made. But let's just go ahead and hard set it. Ah, and uh, f vector, it's a f vector. We're gonna do zero, zero, 800. Next, we wanna alter the angle axis, or uh, yeah, the angle axis, we wanna increase one by each frame. So we want it to rotate in a circle, 360 degrees. So we're gonna add it once per frame and then uh, if it reaches 360, we're going to set it back to zero. Something like that. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, angle axis is going to be, uh, what is it? Uh, plus equals delta time times the multiplier. So we're getting the delta time from this, which is the time between each frame. We're multiplying it by 50, which is right up here. Again, we can change that in the editor later. So we get that. If 
angle axis is greater than or equal to 360, we're just going to set it back to zero just to prevent the number from getting too large. <clears throat> Uh, what's next? We want to get the rotator value. We want to get the rotate value, so let's go to effector. Let's call it rotate value. Equals dimensions. Ah, oh, did I spell it right? Uh, dimensions dot. This is where we're going to use the rotate angle axis function. Rotate angle axis. And inside that, we want to get set the angle axis and the axis vector. Again, we so we got the angle axis right here, and we have the angle axis or the axis vector right here. Let's go ahead and print the screen just to help us out and visualize the data that we're entering and receiving back. G engine. Or you know what? We should do if G engine first. If G engine add on screen debug message negative one, have it appear for five seconds. Uh, F, yeah. Um, let's just do the color red. F string print F text. <clears throat> uh, let's get the rotate value. It's going to be a string, comma, uh, point to it, rotate value, <sighs> two string. All right, let's do it again and get the angle axis. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, let's change the color to green. Set a rotate value. Let's get angle axis. And instead of rotate value, we just want the angle axis. It's not going to be an S either, it's going to be an F because angle axis is a float. We don't have to point to it, we don't have to convert it to a string because it's already uh, inputted correctly. Alright, so we get these numbers, what are we, we going to do with them? What we're going to do is going, we're going to alter our new location variable and then we're going to set our actor's location depending on how we change it. So let's go ahead and do that, we're going to go new location. Uh, plus equals, uh, my bad, new location x. So we get the x value of it, plus equals rotate value uh, dot x. Let's go ahead and do it again. Locate new location dot y plus equals rotate value dot y. And I'm just going to copy and paste it for the z value. Now we finally set our actor's location. Set actor location. We're gonna set it to new location. False zero. E teleport type none. Teleport type none. So I think that should be it. Again, every time, so on every frame, we get the time between frames and multiply it by our multiplier, which we have set at 50. It's just kind of speed. So if a higher number will make it rotate slower, I mean faster, and a lower number will make it rotate slower. So we do that, we increase that. Then we also want to get the rotating value from it because it is you know, rotating in a circle. So we want to get that number or that vector rather. And then from there, we get to add it to our location and then we set the location. Kind of confusing. Well, it's, it's not that confusing, but 
it'll make sense when you start playing around with it. Saved it, let's compile it, and see if uh, I have to debug it. The compile failed. Let me go ahead and check it out. Okay, edit anywhere. I have a typo. Edit anywhere, edit right here. Compile again, see if anything else breaks. Oh. This is also a typo category. Compile one more time, see if it works. Probably not. Oh, I have another typo. F vector, F vector right here. Now let's see if we can get past this. Okay, on line 44, I have an error in my CPP file. Uh, 44. I'm missing a parentheses. Close out that function. Now I think we should be good. All right, we're all good. Close out. Let's drag and drop into the game world. Um, add component. I'm going to add a cube. Let's drag it up. So immediately when we push play, it'll go to the vector that we set. I set it at 0, 0, 0800. Uh, right up here as the default, didn't I said? Yeah, right here as the default, 0, 0, 0800, so it's gonna immediately shoot up to the top, and then it'll start rotating. And then, there we go. So we're using the rotate angle axis function, and it's just rotating in a circle. Good for platforms, or other abilities, or particle effects. Uh, so we can also change the numbers here. Um, let's make it go faster. Let's go 150, and see what happens. And now it's going a lot faster. Uh, what else can we do? Um, angle axis, uh, dimensions, 300. Uh, so if we want a wider rotation, we can change this to 600, I believe. And that should, so now it's a really wide rotation. Uh, click it again. Let's change this back to zero and let's change another dimension. Let's change a Y to 300, see what happens. That's the same uh, because we did. We want to change this one, I believe. Change this back to zero, and let's see what happens now. Okay, it's just stuck. Uh, go back here. Go back one. Zero. No, three hundred. Now let's see what happens. Now it goes like that. And that's pretty cool, like a Ferris wheel. And now can we do it for the other one as well? Uh, yeah, we just change this to zero. Dimensions changes to one. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, get back to it. Um, change this to zero. Change this to 300. And now it's kind of going like that. So that's kind of cool. So have fun with it, play around with it, and I hope you uh, enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.